what my life was like before 24 September 2010. So, the, my life, I lived my life following the golden rule. Like, I treat others as I want them to treat me. I don't do wrong to you, and you're not supposed to do anything wrong to me. And I was full of guilt in the sense that I knew what was wrong, but I didn't want to give up on it. I knew God, like, that's why I said 24 September. I grew up in a Catholic family. I heard about God, the message of God. I read the Bible. Sometimes I read it for classes because I, I just needed to get a name. I read it, memorized it, but I didn't really understand what the Bible and the message was telling me. So I knew about that message of God, but I didn't really want it to apply it in my life or want God to be on the throne in my life. So I had that guilt in me, and with that guilt, in order to live my life freely, I ended up starting to indulge myself in things that I shouldn't do, like alcohol or anything that just to get my mind off that guilt, just to feel free in my way of life. I'm so when I got dying with him and being raised up with him and start a new life, as you say, because in God everything is new, so I'm looking for that new person in me. And my friends who know me before don't expect me anything like that, that you once knew or once heard just forget about that. I hope that God does change me and does whatever he wants in my life. He's on the throne and I give up everything in my life to him. And to finish, when you say you're going to heaven and you'll be praising God on forever and forever, like lately I thought that was boring. I just wanted to go to heaven so I can play ball, <laughs> play dance music and stuff. But now I know the joy. I don't know how to explain it. I can enjoy myself praising God. Yeah. I can sing forever and ever for yeah. eternity. I talked to the, uh, one of the leaders and she tell me something that really touched my heart. She said something like, she said something like, um, if you say that your father um, harms you, like punish you when you do the wrong things, then that is not a good father. It's a devil. It's um, even your earthly father will do that, and it's very different from our God. Our God is a loving God, and even if you do mistakes in your life, He will not punish you. He will, he will teach you the right way and he will tell you the right things to do, but he will not put your life in fear. He is a very loving God. He is full of compassion and he is full of mercy. Amen. He is a very loving God. And I was very touched after I heard this. And from that point onwards, I know what I'm looking for. I know that he is what I'm looking for. He is the real father who cares for me, who loves me. And it's not that devil. That father is a devil and he will hurt just harm you. But this God is merciful, he's full of compassion, and he will guide me wherever I go. Alright, so I never, I think my whole life, I never understood the significance of what I was doing with anything. And baptism was the same way for me when I first got baptized. Uh, and so my whole life, I never understood the significance of my life or what I was doing. Everything blurred together. It all seemed meaningless. Nothing was important, nothing was valuable, except I desired meaning, I desired fulfillment. I tried to find it in relationships. I tried to, f to feed the longing in my heart, but I was still searching, always. Satisfaction seemed to be just around the corner, but I could never find it. But I always had enough around me to keep me distracted from the lack of satisfaction. I had a family, I had school, I had video games, I had band, and I had relationships. But one after another, the relationships let me down. They wouldn't satisfy me in the way I wanted to be satisfied. And so I grew up in a church. I grew up hearing about Jesus, but not knowing Him. If I had truly known Him, I would have been satisfied. And it all seemed meaningless. And it is apart from God. I walked oblivious into a church one day, and He revealed Himself to me. And I didn't get all of the answers then, and I don't have them all now. But this I know that Jesus satisfies. Apart from Him, we're nothing. Our life is meaningless, so we cannot be satisfied. We'll always be searching. And we'll be searching for Him, even if we don't acknowledge it. And I just want to thank God for reaching out to us and to me. 
and I don't know where I'd be without him. I'd still be searching. I was so lost before. I was so lost. But now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. And his ways are far above any of ours. The more we come to know him, the more we see that our ways are flawed and they're wrong. And it was all about me before. It was all about me. I wanted to be served and be satisfied. But satisfaction comes in serving him. I wanted the idea of love. But love isn't selfish. It isn't selfish, but selfless. I wanted significance. But nothing is apart from God. And the more I grow, and the more I know this, and the more I know I want to be baptized. <laughs>